Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 12 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the last video, we were able to add in the roof and then we added the curtain wall. So the windows and then we added all the furniture. Now we're going to continue working on this. What I want to do is to add the balcony on the three um, rooms that we have so all of them will have and also I wanted to add in the roof for this part so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to level two first add in the roof for that so level two or sorry level one and then here we can add in roof number one set it to level two and then add only for the perimeter right here after that we could offset this so base offset to negative 400 or maybe negative 300 is good enough so now we could just go to modify, click on paint, and then add the same paint as what we have right here. So we have the roof there. And as you can see, everything is looking good. And then here, I want to change the way the wall joint is. So let's go to level two and then let's change the wall joint and then also i want to push this a little bit and then here wall joints select this wall joint and then go click on next until we have this part so once we have we'll be able to extend this one and then add in the appropriate um, floor that we have that we need actually so here I could just add it like that and I know it's over so AL align it from below so now I, have, I know everything is leveled properly and what we could do next is I want to add so actually the way I see it now this one and also this one doesn't look good but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the design that I want so so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use architecture model in place and then generic model and then here we need to go to south elevation so that it's facing forward click extrusion pick a plane and we're going to choose this plane right here and then i want to extrude it from here so around 400 for now because we we will extrude it depending on how we want it so here i'm going to use duplicate and we're going to use gypsum wallboard as a duplicate and here what I'm gonna do is I'm going to connect this right here all the way here we could align it there if you want to and also what we could do is we could just add it for the wall right here so we could trim this properly and delete all those small lines and trim it like so and then click on finish and i want to see how it looks and we could extrude it as like like i said earlier and we could align it so that everything is aligned properly with the thickness and all and as you can see the way it is connected here 
looks much better. I think I'm going to put back the wall joints that we have here before. I think that's much better in terms of um, not uh, having the same um, wall overlapping. So at least we could extend this and then we could basically add a roof on here and then a roof on top of here. And then nothing is overlapping, I think so. If we put it right here, and then we could extend this a little bit forward. So I'm going to edit the boundary. So here is just what we're doing is we are setting up a, a nicer um, connection. So we're just connecting them properly. Zoom and extend and join that. now this one looks much better and the problem we have is this extension right here and then I'm going to align it all the way there and the only problem is is this one this part right here that is overlapping so I think the the best way is to just create something right here maybe a small one of this extrusion so that we could just add a bit right here and not worrying about overlapping So now what I'm planning to do is to have this model right here and with that it also is for the balcony so I think I'm gonna leave it like this for now And then maybe I could just edit this and then add a little bit of extrusion here. So everything is so I could set it here with the plane. And then click finish and then align it so once we're in twin motion and we set all all the stuff you won't even notice that there is a box there it will all fill in and it doesn't look like it's it's misplaced there so I'm just checking on how much extrusion should I do here I think that's good enough and also I'm gonna add it so I'm gonna edit this again I'm gonna add it on this side so let's go to south elevation oh sorry north elevation is the other part and maybe we're going to have 
have it like this on this side extrude pick a plane and then I'm going to set it here and then click finish I want to see how it looks and for some reason not everything is doing good because we have something right here so I'm going to deal with one at a time first so here I'm gonna deal with this so I'm gonna click on finish first this is just one wall so click on attach and then detach target how about this one attach base so these are the ones that I could extend a bit so let's go to north edit sorry not edit this one this one is 200 okay and we need to align it at the top here and I want to connect it right there we have the 200 and we need to lower this down and then we're gonna lower that down as well so now one one at a time we're going to lower it a l and then also on this wall And then we're just gonna leave this one on that that side like that and I'm thinking of for this one not to add anymore because if we add the we're defeating the purpose of having the perugula Or an awning there so we're just going to clean it up a bit what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use something like this again to go to the second floor and then clean it up create extrusion and then just adding certain stuff right here and then just trimming it just a quick way of fixing stuff and cleaning the gaps using a line so that everything is aligned to specific walls so I'm just going to do this and then after that 
what I'm gonna do is we're going to add the railing so here it's not showing but if we change the view range we can change it to level below and as you can see everything is showing we have it right here we have even the pergola and we have the extension right here maybe let's put negative 2000 So I change it a bit so that it's not too much. And then here, let's go to architecture. Click on railing. And then we choose what we want. And I'm just going to choose this one. Add it there, click on finish, and then add the railing again on this side. And then here we could just edit so that this one is connected to the wall. Sometimes it's kind of confusing. Not seeing the model and then there you go. And then let's fix this so that it's not showing that one. And then let's fix the view range. We don't need it anymore. So negative. Click on apply. And there we go. If you don't want this, you have some glass bottom. And then this one as well. So either way, depending on what you want, you can change it a bit. A bit. You can also add just glass as well. You can use the same one that we use, which is curtain wall. We might do that instead because that one is it looks much cleaner to have. So instead of this, why not? So I'm just going to leave it that, that one for now and the other one as well and go back here so that we don't need to turn on the underlay and we can see everything. So I'm just going to click on wall and then curtain wall and add it right here, right there, and then right there. And then once we add, we can delete the railing. And then here as well, curtain wall. So we have it already there. And then just delete this. And then we just need to lower it to the proper height. We can align it. Okay, that's good. And 
and then just go back and one we want to make sure that everything is going like that maybe extend it a bit so that it's connected There we go. And then also on the other side. Extend it first. Extend it and then pull, pull it back. Extend it first and then pull it back so that it's connected. So that's looking good. In the next video, we're going to add emollients and curtain door. So thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.